Hello everyone, this is the Cell Phone Geek. Today I'm going to show you I have a, I'm going to be installing a new hard drive, a one terabyte hard drive, 3.5 inch hard drive, and a DVD player, DVD burner I should say, and player, into my Acer Aspire desktop I bought from Walmart. And I've popped off the front. I'm going to show you how to upgrade a hard drive. So first off, if you look at the back here, there is two screws: a screw here and a screw here that you have to take off. Once you do that, the cover will slide off by pulling on this, and that'll take off that. Then uh, next step is, in order to get to the DVD drive, you have to pop off these clips, which is one here, one here, and another one here. You snap these clips off. And if you tilt it slightly and then pull, it'll pull them off. Just just watch the wires on the one end. There's a bunch of wires there. You don't want to disconnect any of those. Set that off like to the side. And then there is a shell that kind of looks that looks like this, which actually sits in there like this way. I believe. Yeah, that sits in there like that which I've already removed the old drives, actually I bought it without the drives and uh, so there's a couple screws that hold that in actually from the front there's two screws or one screw that holds on that side and one on this side so there's two all together then there's a couple screws that hold the drive on the DVD drive and then the bottom has the hard drive spot alright I unpatched the hard drive and I slid it in here you want to make sure that the hard drive when it sits into the case here your hard drive cords are here off onto the right so you want to make sure that the ports are you have when you slide the hard drive into the shell here that they are on the right side. So if I take this here and flip this over, see I already put it in wrong. Because when you screw it down, then you won't be able to get to them. Because then when this is going to sit in here, the port should be on this side. So I already put it in wrong. So see, so take this out here, slide it in this way. So that way, when you flip this, when you flip it over and put it in here, your ports, say uh, there you go, will be on the right side here. So then you can plug in your cables, the power and the SATA cable are both right there. Then your DVD ones are sitting here on the back, which are here. <coughs> you slide the DVD drive in here, and the ports will be on the back there. So then, once you have that, then you just gotta line up the holes here, like so. And attach the four screws. The screw goes to here, 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 and here. And once you pop those screws in, I'll show you the next step. Once you put the first one of the screws in, the whole hard drive like lifts up, and then you're able to put the rest of them in real easy. Uh, I went diagonally, popped one in one corner, and went across in the opposite corner, and then the whole hard drive is perfectly even. And then you can pop in the other two screws, and all the screw holes will line up. Then I would think that's the easiest way. So if you take this and stick it in here, you'll see that it uh, lines up with the port, with the SATA ports, so it'll be perfect fit. Uh, I'm gonna start unwrapping the DVD and slide the DVD drive in next. With the DVD drive, I slid it in here. Uh, just need one screw, which is gonna go right there, and then one on the exact opposite side. You'll line it up in this hole and put the screws in, and then you'll be able to take it and drop it right into the computer. All right, I got them in. Next thing I'm gonna do is. Plug the cables in and then drop this in and we'll be good to go. So I plug in the hard drive first, plug in the DVD drive and drop it in into place. Alright, I got all the cords plugged in for the SATA for the hard drive and power and SATA and power for a DVD drive. So all that's left is the screws that hold it in. One screw's going to go there and the other one's going to go there. Alright, I got the screws in. And then you just take this guy here and it just snaps back on. Watch the wires and make sure you don't crush any of them. This can be a little bit tricky. Um, just make sure you get uh, three on this side and three on the other side snapped in and then I'll show you what to do next. All right, I went ahead and snapped it on. I put it on like I, when I said take it off, you do like a hinge. So I put the bottom three in because I still have the case on that side. So I put those three on an angle and then rocked it up like a hinge and these three snapped right in no problem. And if you look, notice the third one snaps into that bracket that we just had on that computer that holds the DVD drive and the hard drive. So that's all on. Alright, so 
This is what it looks like on the inside. Nice little power supply. Okay, now you gotta put your cover back on here from before. That's what's on here. You're gonna offset it a little bit like that so it falls into all of its grooves. As long as it lays flat all the way, then you just slide it over and it'll lock in. And once it's locked in, you'll see it's nice and smooth, fits perfectly. And then you look at the back here, there's a screw that goes in right here, another screw that goes in here. Once you do that, this bad boy is all good to go. And I'll show you what to do next. Alright, the screws are in, screws in there, screws in there. This tower is good to go. It's a nice upgrade, so now it's upgrade. It's got a one terabyte hard drive with a DVD burner that burns a little bit faster than what it did before. The burning capacity is quicker. And we're set. So all I gotta do now is take this guy, plug in your the cords for power, for a mouse, keyboard, and for your monitor, and sound if you like. And then we are going to install a fresh copy of Windows 7 on here. Um, the disc, I'm using the restore discs or recovery discs that came with this computer. Otherwise, you can purchase Windows online, or if you're going to do Linux or Unix, you can install that, download it on another computer, burn it onto a DVD or onto a flash drive, and you can install it on here. Once it's hooked up, it's really easy to do. Once you got it hooked up, we're going to boot it up and open up the DVD drive, put the disc in, close the drive, and then uh, you may have to restart it again, which I'm going to show you. I'll show you the video here in a second. But uh, once that goes, it'll pop up and they'll ask you hit any key to boot from disk. Once you boot from disk, you go through the settings or you go through the steps to set up the operating system on this hard drive. And then I go through and install Windows or whatever operating system you'd like. And once that's installed, it'll come up to your home screen and you're good to go. And your computer will be brand new or like brand new with uh, more memory or a bigger hard drive more space for your music and movies and documents or whatever you got and you'll be able to burn DVDs quicker or even CDs and I think that's pretty much it so this bad boy is going to be faster you see the Windows sticker on there shows <coughs> Windows 7 already so I'm just going to pop in the first recovery disk here and boot it up and let it start installing Windows.